13-year-old Daniel Kambaho is one of the residents who sustained serious injuries during the military drills carried out at the nearby military barracks Kabamba. Kambaho showed us scars from the injuries he sustained and the permanent damage he has to live with. <laughs> Baho is not alone. There are other residents with similar experiences of the effects of military sharing into the neighboring villages. In 2015, a five-year-old girl, Sharwa Namugabi, was hit and she died instantly. Hussein Kato says he no longer sleeps in his house because his house was damaged by the sharing. However, the local residents say this problem has existed for years, but the army does not seem to care about the plight of the residents. Those people occupying that area could be shifted to the other part of the barracks beyond the road, beyond this main road which is not always affected by fragments and the other, other things. The commandant of Kabamba Military Barracks, Brigadier Deu Sande, acknowledges the problem, but he says it's not intention. We don't intend, we don't intend to cause uh, uh, damage to, to our people. It, is, it may not be possible to change the direction. Uh, it is not also possible to change and stop the training because the training is important to the military, it is also important to the people. When we are training, we are making our soldiers uh, uh, firm, uh, ready for any, uh, any situation. Brigadier Sande says the army always issues prior notices to the residents before they cut out military drills. So many people causing disturbance on a daily basis. I'm telling you sometimes I move on foot. I'm a brigadier, but I move on foot to go and stop the disturbance. Some of these people who do so are given early warning. I told you one time, one time we evacuated a person by air. Do you know the cost implication of the air, evacuating somebody in the, by air? It means there is a love for people. Brigadier also explained the effects of such military sharing on the lives of the people, especially pregnant women and the children.